Kuwabara continues to be trounced by Team Masha's snooty leader. Hey, Kuwabara, tell me how it feels. Makes you want to shout in joy, doesn't it? Oh, I know I'm the announcer, but I can't help a little sidetracking. <laughs> Don't just let that creep wail on you! Show some freaking balls! We both know he's proven enough. It's a miracle he's even standing. <laughs> ah! His body's exploding with energy! Why the hell did I take this job? They're... they're gonna kill me! You're going to make your move at the first sign of Kuobara's loss, aren't you? If you have any noble plans to stop me, I suggest you write your will. I'm not leaving without war. Let's just see what happens first. <laughs> so why can't I use my spirit sword anymore? <laughs> the naivete of youth! I thought you would have figured it out by now! <laughs> Do you really think a normal human could have sustained the injuries you have? Your body's been using your spirit energy to keep you alive! And now you have nothing left! I'm going to take the count now, so everyone make sure and tell me how I'm doing it wrong, okay? <laughs> Ten more seconds and the whole story changes. Buta Jerry. Huh? Ha! Ah, the Wonder Couple. Just the two people I want to see. Welcome to my top of the world inaugural celebration. <laughs> Thanks to my work, our mutual enemy screwed and I'm about to be filthy rich. <laughs> you were wrong about Tarukane. Yusuke wasn't responsible for his death. You understand? That little eyesore would have interfered with my plans. And my dear friend Taguro knows that doesn't happen. Only had to flick his wrist for that head to pop right off. Sorry to inform you so late. <laughs>